how to crop images into any shape in Adobe Express. Stick around. Hello all you wonderful people out there and welcome to the channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you are here checking this video out. If you're a first timer, consider subscribing, clicking like to this video. If you don't like it, still click like. And for all you returning visitors, thank you as well. Today I'm walking you through how you can crop images like these right here into any shape using Adobe Express. It's an easy step to do. I'll walk you through. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Starting off at express.adobe.com, I'll click on the plus sign here and choose a custom size graphic. I'm going to choose the custom size or the default and go ahead and click on next. And I'll go ahead and start up here at the top. I'll just call this cropped image here, just to make sure you wanna do that first before you start any project. I'll close this off here. And then I'll choose a background color. That way we can see what's going on here. I'll just use one of my brand colors here. And now I'm going to add a photo. So there's several ways, just in case you don't know about this, you can always go to the photos option and upload a photo. I'm going to do something here is drag one from my desktop and I'll go ahead and choose this one here. Just drag and drop. And there it is. Here is my image. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to crop that into a circle. And it is very easy. If you look on the menu, whenever you click on a photo, you'll see edit image right down here. There's crop and shape. And voila, if you go down here to the bottom, you have the different ratios that you can crop it out. So if you're looking for square and then here you have shapes. I use this a lot when I'm creating content is the circle option. And with that done there, once I'm okay, I can also increase the size of the image within the crop. Just keep in mind, this white outline is where your circle is. And if you can see here, there's an actual circle there. Whatever I size up, whatever is only visible there, if you could see I'm zooming in here, that is the only thing that we'll be seeing through. So you can actually resize that and then you can make movements like that, right or left. I'm going to make this as small as possible and try to get all of my picture within that circle. Click on OK. And now there is my cropped image. Now, here's a second extra tip here that I'll share. Right now, you can't add an outline to that image. So what I'm going to do is head on over here to shapes and with shapes right here, I'm going to type in circle since I have a circle crop there and I'll just go ahead and hit enter and you have your basic shapes and then you have all these others. I'm going to go ahead and choose the basic shape. It clicks in there and it's already defaulted to orange. This is great because what I'll do now is check that out. I'll move it. So it is concentric with my other circle there and I'll go ahead and resize this. Just make an adjustment to somewhat cover that up. It might be a little bigger, which is fine because I kind of want to add an outline to my image. So I'm covering up my whole image. And then what I'll do is click out here and drag so that I select both. You can't see my picture, but here, this little line right there, that tells me that I have multiple objects selected here. And then what I'll do over here, I will align center horizontal and vertical. And then the last step here is I'll come down here to my layers. I'll grab my picture and move that up. And now my picture is within the circle. If you don't like whatever color the circle is, just click on it and then choose a different fill color. I'll go ahead and go with white. And there it is. And then one last thing is I'll select them all again and then group it so that way they'll move together. And then when I resize, they'll stay the same size. So now I can go ahead and add content here, uh, text, additional photos if I wanted to. But this right here again is how you can crop images. Remember when you click on the image, you can also go to crop and shape and you can change the way that looks. Just remember the crop will change. You'll have to change the shape behind it to match that crop. But that should be easy to do by looking in shapes. And now you know how to crop images using Adobe Express. 
So go ahead and give it a try. If you have any comments or questions about this video, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. And don't forget, like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with your friends. And thank you again for watching this video. And as always, be good to one another. Peace.